Hey, what's up, guys? It's Celtic here. Do another Kotobukiya statue review on a Kotobukiya Tekken Bishouju statue, Jun Kazama. And again, with Kotobukiya, this is another fantastic figure by or statue by these guys because you know, using the female fighters of the Tekken Tag Tournament 2 series and creating these statues, which is so highly attractive, especially after Ling Xiao Yu, they actually did Jun Kazama with this skimpy, very sexualized, highly attractive statue of Jun Kazama. And I must say, they did some fine work to, to the statue. I just absolutely love it. I mean, just incredible detail and just like absolutely stunning from top to bottom. And it's just like how proportion, how very, how the outcome of the statue really turned out really well. It was absolutely phenomenal work with these guys. But um, before I go in detail with this, of this statue, let me take a quick look at the packaging. Packaging is pretty much the same thing as the previous Kotobuki statues of the Tekken Tag 2 series. And here we are, we just have, you know, Tekken Pujoju statue, which in Kazama with a nice illustration art. You can probably see my reflection there. Hello. Um, as also, here's the different types of warnings of, you know, choking hazards of the statue. I don't know how I want to choke in Jun Kazama. But here on the side, you can see a nice fully illustrated artwork of Jun Kazama. Very nicely and very well endowed, if you know where I'm talking about. And in the back, you can see, you know, the frontal and back view of the sexy statue. Especially here, the nice cute tush she got there. A uh, brief description of, of the um, artist's work and... Here is the previous statue, which I reviewed with Ling Xiao Yu, which is available now. Probably sold out at Toy Store and other, um, you know, online stores. And other side, you know, got the nice Jun Kazama outwork. And from the bottom, you know, got this nice caution attention, as well as Kotobukiya and all these little things, you know, choking in the ages 3. 0 to 3, you know, bad for them because they'll choke and die from the statue, which I like plenty. I like a scenario of that, but oh well. Uh, and also on the top view, you can see a nice uh, Tekken Tag 2 tournament logo, Kotobukiya, Jun Kazama, you know, the words Jun Kazama, and Tekken Bishouju statue. But yeah, that's pretty much typical how it was in previous, you know, Tekken Bishouju statues. I mean, very nice, you know, got the nice one, the packaging, you know, I love that a lot. But yeah, that's pretty much simple, all the packaging. So let's go more in depth with the figure. Or should I just say the statue of this uh, Tekken Bishouju statue? But yeah, here we are. It's just absolutely phenomenal. I love how the detail work they actually do this. And I can just zoom in closely for the head skull so you get a nicer look at her. Which is absolutely phenomenal. I absolutely love it. I mean, you can actually see how detail they put on her face. I mean, the nice thin eyebrows she has. Very nice and sexy. It's also got this pink um, eyeliner underneath her eyes. It's kind of nice attention to it. I don't know if my camera or I could camera pick it up or anything but I think she has either blue or hazel eyes which is a very nice touch but not only that you can see how the eyelashes underneath and on top of her eyes lids I mean, just absolutely phenomenal you can see how individual they are just like it's absolutely amazing got the nice pink lipstick on her lips very nicely done and I always love the, the Tekken Bishouju statues that you know they deal with the hair I mean just absolutely nice how molded they actually sculpted with this statue and how translucent in the end of the tips right there you can see from the side of front of her face and the back of her head it's like nice translucent black plastic there nice touch to it and also got her cute headband with it as well on top of her head sculpt and this i don't know what you call this scarf or anything but it's, you know it's made of pliable material so that way you don't have to worry about breaking it but it's really nicely nicely sculpted there i liked it a lot all continuing the back and see how the lines are sculpted from the front and back of the statue. Very nicely done. Absolutely love that work. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. And not, not only that, you know, the skin tone, how, you know, different type of shadings on the elbows. Got that dark wash into it. Also, in her upper elbows to her bicep or tricep area. And then from the side, you know, they actually sculpted, you know, more nice detail of her, from her boobs and her cleavage. It's like, you know, got that nice dark um kind of like a I don't know, beige wash to the center side of her boob there i mean just like you know you gotta give credit to kodobuki at putting good amount of detail to the statue i mean it's just like amazing really but not only that you can see her that individual lines there or not individual lines but the lines in her bathing suit as well see from her frontal front not only from the center going down for her belly button as well as from the side of her waist there you can see the wrinkles there as well Nicely detailed and high def part of the crows are in that bathing suit. And to point out the obvious, yes, you got a nice big maracas there in front of her, which is absolutely amazing. Just nicely sculpted. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's just like, it's a nice statue. I mean, 
pretty much hard to put your eyes in there somewhere else other than her face and other anywhere else but yeah it's really not nice let's go lower down to the figure I like the scope of the belt there I mean just got like this gold paint right there is like you know absolutely detailed it's not like some sort of lazy scope or anything but just like you know how nice and clean it is just amazing but then again it's kind of questionable why she would wear a belt with the bathing suit it's just kind of odd to me if you ask me but oh well that's just a fending trend that uh, game reality or game fantasy world I guess but what's really impressive is not only that she got a nice hiney but also just kind of a little silly but she actually they actually sculpted tiny lines on her butt crack I mean just like it's really funny if you think about it because you know again so many lines there is actually giving her like a tight wedge wedgie for herself there so yeah it's kind of like too much detail but at the same time it's kind of get that realistic look you know she i mean come on like most women that weren't a one piece or a two piece painting suit that you know kind of wedges in it's kind of nice so that way it could give you know nice revealing her butt you know i mean who doesn't like the you know like but of a woman, especially in the bathing suit, which I can't get too much um, touchy-feely there. I know it's a statue. Yeah, it's a sad and all, but hey, I'm just a guy, so sue me. But yeah, um, going to their hands, you can see how they got the nice pink um, paint on their fingernails, which is nicely done. The uh, arm wrist on her wrist, or wristbands on her wrist, you know, kind of looked like pretty bland. I kind of was hoping a little detail, but then again, it doesn't really matter. I mean, just like wearing that for fashion purposes as well. Just kind of zoom in and out, sit out more. See how going down her legs got a nice continuation of that. I don't know, pantyhose kind of thing. I'm not really into the women's fashion or what kind of clothes they wear, but just like weird. I mean, I have no idea what it is, but regardless, it's got like detail and then the freaking you know, this sock there, whatever you call it. But you know, more continuation of the crows there, nicely done. I like it how it's just like it's kind of like grasping the upper upper thigh that way you know it's like it really seems like it's actually tight on her thigh you know and then you can see nice work on her boots as well I don't know why would any woman would want to walk on the beach or poolside with wearing boots on a one piece base it's kind of questionable if you ask me but overall it's really nicely done you know Got this texture and lines going on through it. I mean, not texture, but you can see how individual lines of the boot as well. Not only that, it has sculpted, or not sculpted, but painted her toenails there in the bottom. You can see, if we get a closer look at that, there we go. But yeah, you can see the nice pink paint on her toenails. Very nicely done. Not so much on the other foot because of, for obvious reasons, the stocking or whatever you call that sort of thing. And my camera just wants to unfocus, but yeah. I mean, not too much detail on her feet or her boots, or what you call it, but hey, it looks pretty nicely done. like it a lot. I mean, it's not too much of this statue or what I had to offer, but I admit, I mean, it's pretty nice and sexy. Continue on, like, how these statues going for. But, yeah, that's about it. But, you know, being a perverted guy I am, but don't get me fun. Again, this is how I am, but still. It's kind of funny how they sculpted the line from the middle of her pretty much up her bosoms to down her belly button and down towards you know to her crotch area and pretty much pretty much seems like they unintentionally try and give her a camel toe i don't know it's just me but i just kind of like more perverted side like you know just like gain a glimpse of it but yeah that's just me i mean come on what do you expect i mean just how i view things in certain real odd sad way especially from a statue or a figure but let's get a top view of the figure you know see her massive her maracas are or boobs are just amazing just amazing how incredible they sculpted that but i'm not gonna go into that because again it's kind of perverted and sad at the same time so there you go i mean you know again i love kurobukiya and the statues i mean i've seen other works other than attacking female characters like marvel and dc characters and you know i tend to lean towards more the females because you know females are the nicest look to look at so but for the most part in my end but yeah but still whether sexualized or wearing their typical costumes or whichever. I mean, it looks pretty damn nice. I like how they actually, you know, do so much incredible work and detail in their statues. It's amazing. But, um, you know, aside from that all standard statue with the Kurobukiya comes, she does come with a few kind of slips for her base. One of the sleeves will pretty much be a picture of Jun Kazama from her chest up. And then you got a Tekken Tag 2 Termit 2 logo on it. And also the other one would pretty much consist of the basic Tag and Tag Hermit 2 logo. So you can swap 
any of the three you want. And the third one will be this protecting project with Heihachi's face, angry face there, and uh, some guy's signature. I don't know who, but forgive me for not knowing. But I just not going to detail that or really don't care for much at the time being. But yeah, that's much standard three sleeves that comes with each second tag tournament two female statue. So I like that bonus. I mean, just like really nice and all. But again, like Lin Xiao Yu, pretty much from the bottom, just like pop the bottom, just like swap it off. I mean, I'm not gonna show you the process since you've seen from my last video, but basically these things like come out, you know, takes a while to get with it. But again, I'm not gonna do that because it takes a while and I'm afraid of breaking it. That's just me there. But yeah, just pretty much swapping. You can see in front of translucent plastic, you'll see the nice clear sleeve of the statue. So. Kind of like to give you the minor options, but at the same time, from the packaging, it kind of pretty much seems like, like, get my camera to focus. Let's try to do this. Okay, there we go. Okay, it doesn't work that much. There we are. But yeah, from the back of the packaging, it kind of seems like a pretty much a misleading type of thing since, again, they always like picture this statue with a black base, and apparently it's a tra clear translucent base. I mean, I don't mind it, but at the same time, it's kind of like again misleading i mean i kind of like you know at first when i was got my first bishouju statue i thought it would be a nice black base but apparently it isn't but i guess the clear base is a lot better that way you know get some different options of how you you know display these statuettes so i like these a lot but yeah but here we are for a size comparison let's bring out ling Xiao Yu. standing side by side character by each other and just pretty much seems good in scale Probably height wise, these characters. I know Ling Zhao Yu is pretty much like the shortest female character of the roster cast, but yeah, it's really not too bad. I mean, absolutely like it how how these you know work together. I mean, how skimpy these characters are slowly becoming. Well, certain characters become a little skimpy, others just like you know wearing their typical costumes in the Tekken Tag fighting game. But yeah, I mean, I just like how Kotobuki has been doing all these Tekken female artworks. Um, the female characters. I mean, right now the next one will pretty much will be. Nina Williams and after Nina will be Anna Williams. Not in a skimpy type of clothing, but, you know, just like in a regular costume, which I don't mind. They could switch it up from time to time again. You know, certain characters wear their skimpy outfits. Others will wear the bathing suits. So, not all of them will be, like, you know, pretty much wearing the same thing of, you know, revealing too much skin type of thing. So, I kind of like that variety type that Kotobuki is doing. But, again, I kind of prefer to actually go with a CG um, artwork that you see when you're selecting characters in Tank Attack 2, but with the artwork, you know, that was available as another type of image for selecting characters in the game, so they use that to create the statues, but I'm not going to mind nitpick. I mean, overall, again, with the amount of detail they actually, you know, sculpted with the costumes and the clothing, fingernails, etc., it is pretty a nice Kotobukiya statue, and for around 50 bucks, you can't really pass it up, especially if you're a huge Tank and Tag character. Tank and Tag fan especially with the female roster i mean i just absolutely love it so i glad i picked these up and it's just amazing i can't wait to add more of these females to my collection but yeah they're all going well in size and scale wise they're going great with each other and i absolutely looking forward to the future releases but yeah there you go i mean it's pretty much short for a review but hey i mean just like these statues don't really much have to offer other than looks mostly for uh, good or worse, but you know, mostly for sexualizing, of course. I mean, just like, come on, you can't resist a female character, and you can't stop staring for a female character if you're playing a Tekken Tag Tournament 2 fighting game. But yeah, so there it is. There is my review of the Tekken Tag Tournament 2 Bishoju Statue Jun Kazama. Uh, if you like to see more of my reviews, over head to the hit the subscribe button, and please, if you like to, just rate and comment the video. But yeah, hope that's my review. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Uh, until next time, guys. See ya.